Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Paul Leo Jr. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add uh, specific fonts uh, to any Windows operating system. And you can also add it to any Mac operating system as well. So, uh, but today I'll be demonstrating how to do it um, on Windows 7. Uh, but the process is the same all the way from XP um, back to XP and all the way up to Windows 10. So uh, what we're looking at right now is a website called thefont.com which lets you download custom fonts for free uh, for personal use. So um, I'm just going to just show you exactly what to do here. And it's extremely simple. You probably don't even need my help. But um, okay. So well, we're at the uh, the main website, thefont.com, and let's look for something that stands out. Okay, well, let's look at uh, something Christmas oriented, since right at this at the time of this video, we're getting close to Christmas. So, and this will install that font for anything that you use, um, where you would be typing, and you wanted to include this specific font. So it doesn't matter if it's Microsoft Word, if it's Paint, if you're um, whatever kind of whatever program you're using, um, you'll be able to select this font. It'll be installed um, within the operating system itself. So, all right. So we're going through, we're looking at some Christmas fonts here. Uh, that maybe let's just say we want to use in a Microsoft um, Word file. So um, let's go down here. Okay, Santa's airmail. Okay, free for personal use. Uh, it also lets you donate to the author, which is pretty cool. But um, so let's look at Santa's airmail. So now I want to be able to have this as a font I can always use on um, on my PC. So once we click download and we open up the zip file. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. So it will typically just be one file and it will say .ttf. Now what I'm going to do is bring this over to the desktop and we can do one of two things. The first thing you can do is just right click on it and click install. And after that, that's it. <laughs> after that, you should just be able to use it. So what was it called? Santa's airmail. So as you can see, in choosing the font that we want, uh, Santa's airmail. Okay, let's make it a little bit bigger. And Merry Xmas. There we go. Okay, cool. So, and the other thing that you can do, let's go back to the website, and let's just pick. Uh, let's pick something else that looks relatively cool here uh, okay let's just go to let's go to destroy fancy destroy <laughs> and go to uh, something maybe I can use in the future here uh, railway to hells okay so let's go to download and same thing we just open up the zip file and so if you're using it for uh, for any Mac uh, computer, there were instructions on the front page. Uh, it says double click the font file, install font button, and that should be it. And then it should show, it'll show you how to use it for other operating systems as well. But like I said, we're just using Windows for right now. The other option you can do is actually just search uh, for the font folder itself in the start menu. So we go to the fonts folder, and we can actually see. Let's see. So now we can actually just drag drag railway to hells .ttf file over to the font file, or to the fonts folder, and it just installed it. It's there. So let's go. I don't know if it'll be in. I don't know if it'll be available right away here. Let's see. I don't know if it updates right away. Really? Oh, cool. So I didn't even have to. I didn't even have to close and open up Word to do this. So testing 
one, two, three. Testing. You know me. Cool. All right. And just like anything else, you can change uh, the color of it and all that good stuff. So uh, this was not. <laughs> You know I like to do simple videos uh, that just help out anybody uh, in general. So there really isn't much to this. I guess the biggest thing was just showing you where you can actually download <coughs> excuse me, these different fonts. So uh, the best one that I've found so far is the thefont.com. And then you can search as far down, you know, there's there seems to be tons, thousands and thousands and thousands of uh, fonts that are available so and which you can install like I said on it on any Windows operating system and it looks like you can download on any uh, Mac operating system as well and then have them installed on your computer and use them for uh, I don't know whatever whatever purpose you uh, that you deem fit so that's really it I hope you guys enjoyed so this was just how to install uh, new fonts that don't actually come with um, you know with your specific operating system and that's uh, that's everything so <laughs> thanks for watching this very simple uh, short video uh, instructional video and I'll see you guys in the next one later